Alright, so today I'm going to show you how to install an Intel processor. Um, the board that I'm using is a Z77 ITX board by ASRock. Um, it's a really nice board. I like it. Um, I'm upgrading to a 3770K chip. Um, so I'm going to show you how to install this processor. First thing you want to do is just remove this lever. Just press down on it. Pull it out. And it'll just lift like that. And you can just pop off this plastic cover here. And then you take your chip. Now these chips, if you can see it there on the edge, right there and right there, they have little notches. So you can't really install this um, incorrectly unless you really, really force it. Uh, but on this board, what you're going to want to do here, line this up this is oriented in this way and you'll feel it just kind of drop right in there okay and when you look here this piece should be flush with the top of the CPU so this should be flush so if it's sitting like up out of the socket at all um, that's gonna obviously cause you a lot of problems and not work at all once you've got it in there go ahead and just close this cover and you see these teeth will go around this mount here and just press straight down okay so now your CPU uh, has been mounted in the board next thing you're going to want to do is install your heat sink uh, for this video I'm just going to be installing this stock heat sink because I assume that's what many people will have okay on an Intel heat sink you'll notice that these posts have arrows on them if you are mounting the heat sink on the board make sure that the arrows are away from the heat sink. So if you can see that, see this arrow? Not like that to where the arrow is pointing at it, but to where it's pointing out from the heat sink. Okay, and make sure that they're all pulled up. Just pull them up like that, and then you'll be good to go. Let's take this out of here. Now, uh, when you're Figuring out which way to mount this, it's, it's a square, so it'll mount in any direction. Um, basically what you want to look at is what the most convenient spot for your uh, CPU fan header will be. So mine is right here, so I can go ahead and mount it like this. Also, uh, if you have an open case and there's a sticker here, you may want to have it in the you know right way up when the case is sitting, but that, that's up to you, obviously. Go ahead and lift the board up a little bit, and what you're going to want to do here you can see this see these holes in the board that's where you want to line this up okay so line all of them up just like that and it'll fall in place and you can kind of just make sure that they're all sitting in the holes so all these posts are sitting in the holes if you do not make sure that these posts are sitting in the holes and you go ahead and crank down on three of them and you go ahead and crank down on three of them, then you're gonna bend one of these posts and then you're gonna have to throw out the heat sink and get something else. So make sure they're all in the holes and you can tell that they are if you flip over the board. See, there's one, 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 and one. Okay. And just push down on these posts. What I like to do is I like to do the two across from each other and then the other two across from each other. Okay, and just make sure that they're like that. If you're kind of not trusting the heat sink, flip it over and you'll be able to tell that they are properly mounted when you can see, see this black, the way it works is this black piece pushes through these plastic pieces and then these clear plastic pieces hold it onto the board. Okay, so you can flip it over and just check all of them and make sure uh, that the black piece is pushed through and it's securely holding on the board. So once you've done that, then you can go ahead and just hook up the fan. And that's really it. Uh, I mean, the CPU is really easy part of building a computer. So there you go. And now you're ready to go.